Welcome to Dream Infinite Studios video tutorial um, over photo retouching. Um, we're going to go over basics on how I retouch my photos to kind of be enhanced in projects uh, of mine that I have done in the past. Um, this is a screen capture of Eternal Somnium and it was actually done a couple months ago. As you can see, I enhanced the photos so her hair color kind of goes vibrantly and flows with the color screen of the overall project. I also mess around with her lipstick her eyeshadow, her eyebrows, um, and her eyeliner, and, and all that stuff. And just overall kind of worked on the photo to kind of pop out from a flat image to a really vibrant color schemed um, photo. So we're going to go into Photoshop, and as you can see here, this is the original picture that um, model Jenny Weber actually graciously offered, um, gave me an opportunity to work with. and. As you can see, in many of the times of photography, depending on the computer screen and all that, but many of the times photos are kind of flat on a computer. And we're going to work on it so it kind of pops out. Now, this is a, already a very nice photo. I mean, it has nice um, lighting on the face. It has, you know, it really has nice overall feeling to it. But we're just going to enhance it, kind of make it more dreamy, like kind of something that looks like in an advertisement of a beauty magazine. Now, if I turn these off right here, you can see the this is the um, enhanced look. Um, obviously, it's not the same thing as the turn and so I kind of wanted to do something different this time around. But you know, pretty much it's the same. You can see the lipstick and the color, um, the eyeshadow and the eyeliner and the eyebrows. And I kind of worked with the eye color here a little bit, but and we're gonna go over all that. And as you can see, I try to mimic her hair um, color that's already been dyed in the original photo, as you can tell it's already dyed. Um, this is how the photo is. She actually does have red hair, red tips. And this is exactly um, what we're going to do today. So the first thing I want to do is um, turn all these back on, turn that off. First thing you want to do is make a new layer. Um, you're, we're not going to enhance the photo in terms of brightness and contrast in the beginning. We're going to work on a little fi fine details first. Just to my way of working it. Um, and the first thing we want to do is lipstick. Now the lipstick part really works out really easy. It's very very easy actually. Um, the first thing you want to do is just color the lips into the color that you want. Now I know it kind of looks silly right now, but we're just going to color the whole thing practically. Um, we're going to go back and erase it when we have to. And then we're going to change the layers, um, um, what's that called, the layer blending mode to color. Now it's too pink, and obviously we need we colored in her whole entire mouth, so we kind of need to go back and kind of erase some. So we're gonna erase some the edges, and we're gonna really zoom in there, get a smaller eraser tip, and kind of you know make sure her teeth aren't pink. And maybe I need to decrease it down a little bit more, and make sure that it's kind of you know graciously following her lips with the lipstick and there we have it pretty much done now we zoom out and there we go now I know I know it's a little too pink right now but it's okay we're gonna fix that and um, we're just gonna do that by going to the fill c um, column now remember opacity and fill are two different things Opacity affects the whole entire layer, even layer effects. Fill um, option only affects the co fill con the layer content, but the not the layer effects. So there's two differences, and we're going to work with fill this on this one. So on this one, I'm going to go about maybe 50, maybe 55. As you can see from the difference, um, as you can see from the difference, you see how it changes the vibrancy of the color, and we already have it now. It's totally easy now to go back and change the color if you wanted to. If you, you just want to go to image adjustment, image adjustments, and uh, hue and saturation, and get the hue and saturation palette out, and we, we can easily go back and kind of change the tone. It's very important to work with hue and saturation, with, um, especially in photo ma um, manipulations and photo retouching, because you just want to really have the realism going. Um, so that's about right for this one. I just want her lips to be pink. So now it looks like she has pink lipstick on. Simple as that. 
Now we're going to work on eyeshadow. Eyeshadow works the same way as lipstick. Um, you want to make a new layer. Oops, eyeshadow. Make sure you name your layers. And then we're going to get a blue color for the foreground this time. Um, or you can choose any one you want. And we're just going to color her eyelids. Now, I know it looks silly at the moment, but it's okay. Then we're going to go into fill section, maybe 45, and then go to color. There. And then from the eyeshadow section, um, on a, you know, obviously we need to work it out again. So I'm gonna get my eraser tool, kind of erase the outer section of her eyes. Now I'm no beauty expert to be honest, but you know, I'm doing I'm doing my best here. And already we have an advanced photo with her. Look like she her having um, eyeshadow on. Now again. What we want to do here is actually move it. We want to um, play around with the saturation and the lightness to kind of match the whole entire photo a little bit to to make sure that it kind of blends well with the photo. Is what I'm trying to say. Kind of lost my train of stop there, and there you have it. And now we're going to work on the eyebrow. Same thing with the eyebrow. Um, you're going to get a red color, kind of color it in. And then on this one, we're not going to really use um, too much um, fill because, I mean, it really doesn't look too real. But, um,. And when I mean too much, I'm, I mean like below 35%. And there you have it. We already have colored eyebrows. Now we're in part two tutorial. I'm going to show you how to dye hair, um, which isn't, which can be done using the color um, layer blending mode, but it's a little trickier. Um, we want to actually use other blending modes and other options, and I'm going to go over just that. And I'm also going to go over eyeliner on the bottom and kind of smoothing out the whole entire picture. A more um, beauty magazine kind of look, so stay tuned.